sin square x is equal to this. And notice that this is very similar to the sine square, right? The traditional sine function. We have the power reduction formula, and we also have the power reduction formula for the hyperbolic sine square, like that. But anyway, here we go. As always, this right here means parentheses with sin x inside, and then raised to a second power. And of course, inside here, we can just use e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 to help us out right here for the sinh x. OK, now we just have to expand it. In the denominator here, we have 2 squared, which is 4. On the top, we have a binomial. So we have to do this square, e to the x squared, we get e to the 2x. And we have to minus 2 times this and that, e to the x, e to the negative x. And lastly, we have to add this square, which is e to the negative 2x. So this is pretty much it. And now check this out. We know that e to the x times e to the negative x, it's e to the zero's power, which is just 1. So this is just minus 2, right? Oh no, this is just minus 2. And I will just kind of pair things up a little bit. We are going to first write negative 2 over 4, like this. And secondly, we are going to write, let's just break down the fractions. We have the second part, which is this, e to the 2x. And this is plus e to the negative 2x. And then over 4, like that. And now, as we can see, this is just negative 1 half. Well, we have e to the 2x plus e to the negative 2x. That should remind you of cosh of 2x. But when you have the sinh or the cosh, the denominator should be 2, right? We have 4. It's OK, because we can look at this as plus 1 half times this part, which is, let me just write down, e to the 2x plus e to the negative 2x over 2. 2 times 2, of course, is 4. And now, all in a whole, we get this right here being negative 1 half, plus this is 1 half. This right here is just cosh with the input of 2x. So I will just write this down, cosh of 2x. And that's it. And you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know, do I have to put on a plus c? Right? Just leave a comment down below. I'm not going to put it. I don't know yet. Anyway, you guys tell me. Sinh of 2x is equal to 2 times sinh x times cosh x. It's very similar to the uh, regular trigonometry world. But then this right here, remember, the sinh and the cosh are the combination of the exponential functions. And then when you are trying to prove identities, you should translate them back to the uh, e to the x world, that kind of thing. And to start with this, you see that the left hand side is kind of two little things to work with. But then on the right hand side, it's actually easier when you have a lot more things. Okay? So the proof is going to go like this. PF stands for proof. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to start on the right hand side. I will say, OK, I will look at 2 sinh x, cosh x. And let me just work on this. And let me just focus on that. And I'm going to ignore the original statement. I'm just trying to simplify as much as I can. And hopefully, my result will agree with that. That's the idea. OK, so to begin, I will change this back to the exponential world, so the e to the x part. This is the 2. This is going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 times this is e to the positive x plus e to the negative x over 2. OK, the 2's cancels, if you would like. But then we still have a half right here, right? So let me bring the half all the way to the front. And I can focus this is e to the x minus e to the negative x. And that's e to the x plus e to the negative x. And guess what? These two things, right? The front are the same and the back are the same. This is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. So we have a formula for that. So the result is going to be here we have the one half. And to multiply this, this out with a formula, what we do is a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. We just need to do this guy squared, which is e to the 2x, minus the second guy squared. And e to the negative 
if x squared is e to the negative 2x. Okay? And if you want to multiply this out, when well you multiply this and that out together, remember you add the exponents, negative x, combining with negative x, we get a negative 2x. You can just multiply this out as well. And if you would like, you can write this down as e to the 2x minus e to the negative 2x over 2. Right? But notice, this is in the form of the sinh function because we have a subtraction in the middle, e to something minus e to the negative, same thing, and over 2. So this is actually the same as sinh of 2x. And we are done. Okay? We are done. Right? And that's it. This is how we work with the hyperbolic function. Okay, here we are going to show that sinh squared x plus cosh squared x, this right here is not equal to 1. Because this is the hyperbolic version. And in fact, this right here will give us cosh of 2x. And now, let's see why. First of all, let me just write this down right here for you guys. We have sinh squared x, and then we add it with cosh square x, like this. Well, for sinh x, we can write this as e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2, and then we square that. Similarly, for this one, we will have e to the x plus e to the negative x all over 2, and then we square that. All right, now we just have to multiply this out, combine terms, and hope for the best, right? So now, let's see. This right here, for the bottom, we have two squares, so we just get four on the bottom, so that's good. On the top, we have to multiply this out, and to do so, we can just do e to the x, in our parentheses, and you square that, you just multiply the powers, so we end up with e to the 2x. And then, we do minus two times this and that, so we just have two. e to the x times e to the negative x is e to the zeroth power, which is going to give us one. So we just have a minus two here, and then the last term is going to be, we add this square, so e to a negative x squared that, again you multiply the powers, so we just have e to the negative 2x, like this. Similarly, for this one, we multiply the out, we add, and this is 4 on the bottom, and we get e to the 2x plus 2 times this and that, so it's just a 2, and then we add this square, which is e to the negative 2x, like this. Well, well, both of them have the same denominator, so we can just combine them all together. So, let's see. On the top, notice that we have e to the 2x plus another e to the 2x. So therefore, we have 2 e to the 2x. Good. Then, we see that this is negative 2x. I mean, this is negative 2, and this is positive 2. So this and that cancel out, so no more. And lastly, we have the plus e to the negative 2x, and we have to add another one, so we add 2 e to the negative 2x, like this. Well, of course, we can factor out the 2 and then just do some little cancellation and all that stuff, so we have this, and this and that will cancel, so we just have the following. On the top, we have this on e to the 2x plus e to the negative 2x, and on the bottom, we just have this over 2, right? So that's pretty much it. And now notice that this right here, we have the 2x, and this right here, we have the negative 2x. So, notice that this is the very nice form because, in fact, this is going to give us, well, cosh, oops, cosh of 2x. Because you have to put a 2x into here, and into here, this is the minus version, and you add, so that's cosh of 2x. And with that, we are done. Just like this. Tension of natural log of x is equal to this. So let me first write down what tension is right here for you guys. We have to know tension of some input. Let me put down x for it. Of course, this is the same as sinh over cosh, but I will write down the exponential version for it, which is going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x. And because sinh has the over 2, and cosh also has the over 2, but the over 2s will cancel, so we just put this down over e to the x plus e to the negative x, like this. And in our question here, the input is natural log of x. So I just have to put the natural log of x into here, here, and here, here for the tension of natural log of x. So that's it.
So let me just show you tangent of natural log of x. This will be, okay, we have e to the natural log of x right here, and then minus e to the negative natural log of x, and then e to the natural log of x, and then my, uh, plus e to the negative natural log of x, like that. And this is actually really wonderful because e to the natural log of x, this right here is just x. And for the minus, this part, we have to do it carefully to cancel the e and the natural log of x. In order for us to cancel this out legitimately, we have to make sure to bring the negative 1 to the power of the x first. So in other words, this is going to give us e to the natural log of x to the negative 1 power, like that. Okay, And then we can cancel out the e and the natural log. So this is going to give us x to the negative 1 power, in another word, 1 over x. right? So this part is just 1 over x. And I will also, of course, just write down the rest. This is going to be x plus 1 over x, like that. And we end up with a complex fraction. It's OK. It's not that bad at all, because we can just multiply the top and bottom by x here and x here. And in the end, we'll see that this times this is x squared, this times this is minus 1, this times this is x squared, and this times this is plus 1. And that's exactly what we have on the right-hand side. We are done. OK, we're going to show that 1 minus hyperbolic tangent square x is equal to hyperbolic secant square x. So let's begin from the left-hand side. So here, let me just write this down again. We have this on the left-hand side. And now, we know that the hyperbolic tangent is the same as, you know, just like the classic one, but with the hyperbolic. This right here is equal to hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cosine. But of course, this is a square, so you just have to square both of them. So here we have 1 minus the hyperbolic sine square x, or the sinh x, over the hyperbolic cosine square, or if you would like, sinh square over cos square. And then, of course, we can just go ahead and get our usual common denominator. So this right here, we multiply the top and bottom by cos square x and all that. So this is going to give us cos square x on the bottom. On the top, we get cos square x minus, right, minus thing square x, like this. And now here's a really nice identity. Cos square x minus thing square x, this right here is nicely equal to 1. Why? Because remember, this right here is actually from the hyperbola, x squared minus y squared, and the cos is actually the x value, and the thing is actually the y value on the hyperbola, right? So, all in all, we just have 1 over cos square x, and of course, this right here, by definition, is exactly the same as the hyperbolic secant square x. And with that, we are done.